My name is Ebenezer Safodo. I'm a business strategy consultant and a data specialist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been following my YouTube channel, you know by now that I dedicate this channel for people who want to navigate their way through data science or data scientists who want to carry out certain projects but do not know how to carry them out. In December, I've been interviewing data science professionals. I've done three interviews so far. If you don't watch any, try and hit the subscribe button so as you can get more info on this channel and what I've been doing. Today, uh, because my country, Ghana, was having um, was about to have its elections, I decided to do a small dashboard for myself to monitor how the elections is likely to go, whether I will follow a pattern, the past um, 2016 pattern, or it would have a new pattern that it would change. But to be able to do that, I had to analyze the 2016 data and see how Ghanaians voted for the two main uh, candidates in Ghana, that is um, ex-president John Mahama, who for this exercise of term GM, and Nana Kufado, who for this exercise of term Nada. So that um, is the analysis for the 2016, the two main candidates. This exercise was not supposed to be made public, but um, due to requests from some friends, on social media, I decided to publish it out there. So as you can also use it as a guide to monitor what you are doing. I must say that this work was inspired largely by some survey work done by the Iris Consortium um, with Dr. Tio Echampon and his group, that's uh, Dr. Musa Khaled and John Papon. Some of the segmentations or even the segmentation that I used mainly was inspired from the works that they did. Um, so that is about the credit. Um, the data set is from the Electoral Commission of Ghana. So I'll put a link to the dashboard in the video. And if you have any challenges, kindly make a comment so as I would answer in the future. So back to the dashboard. So you would see that I mainly concentrated on the two main candidates. Um, NDC and MPP's candidate. I look at the total votes as well as the constituencies that they won as the candidate. The total votes by the two parties and the absolute difference, and I show who the winner was. So you can see that is the main page here. You can choose a particular region, a constituency as well. One other thing we need to take. Um, or we need to consider is the toss-ups lean, likely, and safe. I looked at the difference between MPP and NDC and look at the percentage difference by dividing the difference by the total vote. So mainly what we are looking at is that what is the difference as well as the percentage of the difference as against the total vote of who the winner was. So we'll be monitoring mainly the ones with the least uh, percentage difference, and that's what we call the toss-up. The toss-up is 4% and below. The leans are from 4% to 12%. The likely are from 12% to 27% or 20 and the safe are above 28%. So that is what we are doing. And this is what we've done for the toss, lean, likely, and safe. So you can actually um, slice by the various regions. So you can look at Ashanti, uh, another one by a difference of a million plus. Um, let's look at Brown Hafo, another one by 88,000. However, let's look at even in general the percent the, the percentage difference. So you see that some was as low as 24 with a 0.09 percentage difference. So we'll be watching out for Zabzugu, Navrongo, New Edubiase, Asunafo South, Sefrioso, the Jekuku, Banda, Tolon, Nanton, Madina, Ebroy, Nasebu, Sisala, Ejumako, Ting. 
Jomoro Wa is the chairman and Christia Huni Valley. Um, so you can slice by region, like I said, for each one of these, like the general. You can go to also toss ups to just look at those above 4% and look at what happened to them. So that is also at the toss up. So in the toss ups too, you can look at Ashanti, you can look at the Brown Half of Toss Up, you can look at the Central. So that's mainly something to just guide you to see, okay, which are the areas to look out for? And if there are changes, then it could be a national trend and you can know who is likely to win the elections. You can go to lean and likely as well as the same. So that is all that I have for you for today. This is just something that I was doing privately by thought uh, based on request. I made it available for the public. The link to the actual um, view for the dashboard will be posted down um, in the YouTube link. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, it's been some hours of no sleep. I have to now take my rest, but thank you for joining me this day. And all the best to all Ghanaians. And I wish that you have a free and fair elections and elect the best leader for the future.